So it's been about one week since DNF Door released. The Steam numbers look astronomical, steady, and many people are enjoying what DNF Door has to offer so far. And I'm looking around seeing how everyone feels about the game and uh... Yeah, we gotta talk about this game's future or where it's headed. I think DNF Duel is an interesting case for a fighting game. Aiden is back with their Marvel vs. Capcom energy, and I think we need to look at the DNF Duel for what it is right now. I strongly think DNF Duel's weakest selling point is for casual players. This might be a hot take, but like I said in my DNF review, even at $50, it is not doing enough for a casual consumer on the level of games like Guilty Gear Strive did, and dang, nowhere near an NRS game. You might be like, well, yeah, yeah, why do you care about the casual players. Well, casual players are the reason why games sell, while we get more content, more DLC, more installments. Depending on the company and the IP, games could live and die by this. An example of a fighting game franchise I'm thinking about is Bloody Roar. See, on Metacritic, Bloody Roar 4 holds a rating of 59% based on 25 reviews. This game has sold only a total of 90k copies around the world and outside Japan. The lowest sales in the series, dog. Its biggest competitor around the time was Tekken 4, and that game got 3.4 million copies. So yeah, now you see what happened with the Bloody Roar right now. Now everybody's constantly asking for a revival. Now it's not the consumer's fault, but more so the company, which we all know about Konami, to give out a product that the consumers love that people will keep playing or want to buy. Another huge problem with DNF is the story mode. Even though it's a slight step up with a few cutscenes for every character towards the end, it doesn't do anything to keep you enticed after beating it the first time. The first time you go through the story mode, you do unlock Lost Warrior, and after that, there is literally no reason ever to play the story mode again, unless you're aiming for the Platinum Trophy or you want the art unlockables that may already be somewhere else accessible online. Y'all want another hot take though? If you're not hitting the subscribe button and bell to get all these notifications, you like coleslaw. Alright, all right, seriously, I know it was corny, but please take a moment to do so if you're not already enjoying the video. Also, consider becoming a channel member. It's not mandatory, but it helps me keep doing this for everyone and hopefully forever. Nah, but serious take. Fighting games need to either go all out in story modes or just not do them and create something unique that lasts more than just a 5 hour experience and lucky if it hits 10. This is something Street Fighter 6 is aiming to destroy next year and a stigma about fighting game content and story modes. Honestly, survivor mode and arcade mode with lackluster endings is getting kinda old too. I know it just feels like filler content just to make the package look better. You gotta, you gotta find something stronger to keep players into your game that are not worried about actually being competitive. So then I spent an hour looking at Steam charts. And again, this is not a representation for every fighting game number, but for certain times of the day, but DNF Duel has consistently had over two to three players on PC concurrently. The truth though is with fighting games, the numbers can even drop off even further than before. Fighting games usually drop off on all platforms, around a month to three months in. Guilty Gear Strive a year later is sitting at 1k plus players on Steam. And believe me, that is really good for a game that's so controversial within Twitter. DNF Duel is a game that takes the essence of old fighting games and people are like, I quit, I uninstall, or this game sucks. Or I fucking love this game. Some of them are memes, but many have even refunded the game. I find that DNF Duel has a very addicting gameplay loop, but that is also very frustrating. However, even if you hate this game, this game has a big chance to shine even further in the future. Since DNF Duel is a part of the Arc System Works World Tour, the game will have many stages for things to go up for it in the future. I think nowadays though, many people are either not hardcore fighting game players or strong Dungeon Fighter Online fans will step away from the game as time progresses. For many new players or newcomers to fighting games, DNF Duel has infinites that will turn people away hard for, you know, common sense reasons. I'll even be honest, every time I see Crusader on PC, I could just hit all that forward. I'm happy. I don't care. There's no penalty. <laughs> DNF team said they're already working on addressing the problem with DNF, the broken stuff, but here's the catch to what extent. See, what's crazy is the mechanics I want in DNF were found in the game files. Even though I would love to see what error blocking and a burst could do for DNF Duel, that would change the game entirely. We know aiding is very hype, 
crazy, but also very traditional and old school in a, in a, in a way, in a way. How will patches go for DNF Duel? Some even already accepted that what we plan right now is likely what we'll be playing forever to some extent. Heck, even if we're being honest here, the two betas of DNF Duel compared to the full game are very similar from my understanding with some changes to Infinite. So who knows, if people are willing to stick to the game's current state of DNF Duel, this mentality could also harm the game's life and player base, but also also increase it. However, I 100% hope aiding proves me wrong. So I guess the next big question is to ask, is DNF Duo really dying? Usually people like to say this after every video game that they don't play, dead game, and I hate it. That's another reason why this video is even put into fruition right now. When will DNF Duo drop off? Another question that makes me curious is a game like King of Fighters 15. See, the truth is, the King of Fighters 15 is probably one of the best fighting games to drop this year. I would probably give it fighting game of the year off rip. However, when things don't get fixed for a while, people do move on very fast. I remember King of Fighters 15 having a big discrepancy with matchmaking and a few other issues with PC just not working and it just becoming a very annoying thing. King of Fighters 15 went to being like the most popular fighting the game this year to managing almost at least 800 players in the last 24 hours. Which again, that is normal for fighting games. But there's also a huge problem within fighting games, player retention. We'll go deeper into that another day. However, I have to say this. A game only dies when the community does or the players don't support it. For me to be transparent, my favorite Arc System Works fighting game was BB Tag. And even though after 2.0, they disappeared for like two to three years to just give us rollback netcode, the player base, regardless of the slander, hate, complaining, still played the game when they could and they can. But at the end of the day, if people say your game's dead, please play the game. This just came out. Don't be ridiculous. And if anything, DNF has either two solutions. Either it's going to stagnate or people are going to either go with the game or they're going to turn away from it. It's just wait on the next waiting room. So that's just how fighting game culture is nowadays. One last thing I might want to add about DNF Duel is that we don't have a Seasons Pass or any DLC confirmed so far. Just came out as a standard $50 fighting game. And when they actually announced DLC, it's probably gonna be hype because this is like different from everything else. Usually when the game comes out, either get it announced before it releases or like a week later. It's two weeks in at this point and we still have no confirmation of any DLC to the game. So that's gonna be hype. We're probably gonna see it most likely around Evo time or maybe somewhere in this month, but who knows. I think this game is doing things differently and a lot of cool ways for the future of fighting games and a lot of things that are backwards but we'll talk about that maybe in another video if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you hit the subscribe button follow me on twitter at avatar yaya underscore come on go ahead and follow your boy we could talk about stuff i just be trolling making jokes and remember you guys are golden and that is raw squala peace and i'm out I've been a devil, I need me a hawk and no water My breathing, I feel well like time's raw Walking this bitch with a song, about to wall And she rock it, I keep me a domino Bitch, I'm a dip and I feel like a Zaki Stretching that pussy out like it's Pilates I'm sensing the soul, I'm right out of a body Fire, I'm spitting, I feel well like Dobby White bitch, blonde hair, looking like Lucy She from Kiyoshi, I paint her face suit